Hello my dear students, I am Aditya Shakraborty, lecturer in electrical engineering of Sri Ramakrishna Institute of Science and Technology. Today, I am going to discuss about the part 6 lecture of circuit interrupting devices. The first slide is the vacuum circuit breaker. So what is vacuum circuit breaker? A breaker which used vacuum as an earth extinction medium is called a vacuum circuit breaker. In this circuit breaker, the fixed and moving contact is enclosed in a permanently sealed vacuum interrupter. The arc is extinct as the contacts are separated in high vacuum. It is mainly used for medium voltage range from 11 kV to 33 kV. Vacuum circuit breaker has a high insulating medium for arc extinction as compared to the other circuit breaker. The pressure inside the vacuum interrupter is approximately 10 to the power minus 4 torrent or tor and at this pressure very few molecules are present in the interrupter. Now the construction of vacuum circuit breaker. So here you can see the constructional view of a vacuum circuit breaker that is the constructional image. So that is the fixed contact, that is the end shield, that is the shield support flange and the arc is struck between fixed contact and the moving contact, that is the bellow shield, that is the bellow by which the moving contact moves, that is also the bellow shield that is vapor condensation shield these are two electrodes and that is the insulating envelope so it is a very simple in construction as compared to any other circuit breaker their construction is mainly divided into three parts that is fixed contact moving contact and arc shield which is placed inside the arc interrupting chamber. The outer envelope of vacuum circuit breaker is made up of glass because the glass envelope help in the examination of the breaker from outside after the operation. If the glass becomes milky from its original finish of silvery mirror then it indicates that the breaker is losing vacuum. The fixed and moving contacts of the breaker are placed inside the arc shield. The pressure in a vacuum interrupter at the time of sealing of is kept at about 10 to the power minus 6 torrent. The moving contacts of the circuit breaker are moved through a distance of 5 to 10 mm depending upon the operating voltage. If the voltage is increased then the distance is also increased. The metallic bellows made of stainless steel is used to move the moving contacts and which is connected with the relay or the relay coil. The design of the metallic bellows is very important because the life of the vacuum circuit breaker depends on the ability of the component to perform repeated operations satisfactorily. So this is the construction of a vacuum circuit breaker. Now, the working principle of vacuum circuit breaker. When the fault occurs in the system, the contacts of the breakers are moved apart 
and hence the arc is developed between them when the current carrying contacts are pulled apart the temperature of their connecting parts is very high due to which ionization occurs and due to the ionization the contact space is filled with vapor of positive ion so which is discharged from the contact materials the density of the vapor depends on the current in the arcing due to the decreasing mode of current wave the rate of release of vapor fall and after current zero the medium regains its dielectric strength provided vapor density around the contacts reduced hence the arc doesn't restrike again because the metal vapor is quickly removed from the contact zone so that is the basic working principle of a vacuum circuit breaker now the property of the contact materials which are used in a vacuum circuit breaker the material should have high electrical conductivity so as to pass normal load current without overheating when the circuit breaker is operating at normal healthy condition if the conductivity of the metal which are or the material which are used in the contact of the vacuum circuit breaker if it is low then there is a i square r loss or power loss occurs so it must have a high electrical conductivity number 2 the contact material should have low resistance and high density if it has low resistance it can uh, carry the normal healthy current at normal operating condition and if has it has high density then the vapor the value of the uh, the volume of the vapor uh, which is produced after the arc uh, after the production of arc is increases the material should possess high thermal conductivity so as to dissipate rapidly the large heat generated during arcing the last one is the the material should have a high arc resistant ability and low current chopping level so these are the properties of contact material of a vacuum circuit breaker now the advantages of a vacuum circuit breaker vacuum circuit breaker doesn't require any additional filling of oil or gas they do not need periodic refilling also because the contact material is produced the vapor or the vacuum number 2 the rapid recovery of high dielectric strength on current interruption that only a half cycle or less arcing occurs after proper contact separation number 3 breaker unit is compact and self contained it can be installed in any required orientation and number 4 because of the above reasons together with the economic advantage offered so it is cheap and so the acceptance of vacuum circuit breaker is very high now the disadvantage of vacuum circuit breaker requirements of high technology for production of vacuum interrupter it needs additional surge suppressor for the interruption of low magnetizing current in a certain range and loss of vacuum due to transit damage or failure makes the entire interrupter useless and it cannot be repaired on site because if the contacts are damaged then it cannot be operated okay so there is other disadvantage of vacuum circuit breaker that's all for today
थैंक यू